My new fridge is here. The TC35. This is identical to the one I used to have that I should have never gotten rid of. So this fridge is made by Set Power. I had one of these for three years. Never gave me a moment's trouble. It was great. And then another brand caught my eye and said, Hey, try our fridge. It's so fancy and expensive. Here comes Winston. Come on, Winston. Come help me out with this. So I did try it. And it was not good. Gave me trouble from day one. So Set Power understands my situation. What a great company. They got me covered on this. And I can't rave enough about them. Let's get the box open. Oh, they've changed the color. I like the orange. It used to be blue. So this is the TC35 model. It's 37 quarts. And I like it because it's so deep. It's tall and narrow. I'd rather have one tall and narrow than short and wide because of the space that I have available in my camper van. I love the design of this. So here's all the goodies that come with it, all the adapter cables. You can run it on 12 volt DC. It's also got a power brick here where you can plug it into AC and it comes with the manual and they give you stickers. Look at this beast, really tall. You can put so much food in this. This is going to increase how long I can stay out boondocking. I can really stock up with food. I love the design of this. It looks like a big toolbox. And the lid is its changeable. If you don't want it opening from this side, you can flip it around and it will open from the other side. In case you know, you're limited on where you have to put it in your camper van. Yeah, you could just turn the lid around and it will latch from this side. Another thing I really like about this design, see how it's tapered down near the bottom where the sides stick out wider? That way if you push it up against a wall, you'll still have plenty of ventilation for those vents so it won't overheat. It's got bottle openers on each side. And the handles are recessed in on the ends so they don't stick out, you know, just creating unnecessary space. It's, it's perfect for me. So in this uh, review, I'm going to be very thorough. I'm going to plug it into a power station. I'll show you how much power it uses, how quickly it cools down, and how to adjust the settings. And click the link in the description for all of the detailed specs. I'll be using this power station because it has a display on the front of it that'll tell us how many watts the fridge uses. And we're going to keep a clock on it from the time we start to how quickly it cools down. There's your adjustment buttons on the top, on and off. And it's so simple just to set the temperature and that's it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about it. All right, let's jump into the review. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We're going to turn on the power station. We're going to set this to 34. Fahrenheit. The compressor's running. I hear it. See, it's very quiet. See if you can hear it. Winston, can you hear it? Come check it out, buddy. He loves it as much as I do. So it's currently 75 degrees inside this fridge. I just filled it with beer and Gatorade just to have something in there. And we will check on it and I will update you on the time it takes to get it down to 34. I've even got a restaurant thermometer we're going to put inside of it. And we're going to double check that the digital display is as accurate as the restaurant refrigerator. 
Okay, so we started this video at 12 o'clock noon, and I will keep tabs on the time, and I'll report back to you how long it took to cool it down from 75 degrees to 34 degrees. Okay, so we started with the inside temperature of the fridge was 75. It's down to 65. It's only been running for like 10, let's see, 12 minutes. Now, once it gets cooler, those, those run times are going to drop dramatically. Okay, so the time is 12.18. We've been running 18 minutes, and we are down 20 degrees. That is looking good. What do you think, Winston? He's happy with it. Okay, so apparently... This fridge has a soft start compressor on it, which is wonderful because it started at 36 watts and now it's 47 watts at stage two of the compressor spin. That's perfect. That is a, about eight watts more efficient than my ISCO was. Okay, there we are, 34 degrees. That took 31 minutes to go from 75 to 34. That is fantastic. I love the set power. There you go. That's the one to go with. Such a good company. It's all about customer service. Now I am going to take the Iceco fridge out of the van, put all of my food into this one, and then put it into the van and I'm going to give away the ice co I cannot carry both of them with me and I'll just have to tell whoever gets it that you know watch the temperature on it because it fluctuates more than it should it's always been a problem with the ice co brand okay let's test it the fridge display says it's at 40 and my thermometer says 42 but it is up toward the top of the fridge and not down at the bottom. So yeah, that's about right. Maybe just two degrees off. That's good. Very happy with that. Okay, so the link is in the description below the title of the video. If you're in the market for a fridge, I strongly recommend you go with this one. It is a great fridge at a great price. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.